Now, this particular slide is just giving you an example of a histogram and asking it a few questions. All right, the first question says, how many data values are in this histogram? Well, all you have to do is count up all the frequencies for each interval. So for the first one, it's one. This one is five, because as you can see, it stops at five. This one is one, obviously that's zero. This one is six. This one is eight. This one is seven. This one's up at eight. And this one is at four. So when you add all of them up, you should get 40. All right, the next question. In what interval is the mode? Well, you can't determine the mode, because remember, mode is the number that occurs the most. But each one of these are representing intervals. So we don't necessarily know how many, uh, let's say, 45s fall in between 40 and 50. We don't know how many. There could be three of them. There could be one. There could be, you know. So it's hard to determine. All right, and then it says, what interval has exactly four data points? Well, that's easy. This one right here, because this is the one that has a frequency of four. So it'll be from 80 to 90. All right, the last question. What interval has no data points? Well, obviously, this one right here. I should have put a zero. And that goes from 30 to 40. And that's it.